The transition from elementary school to middle school is a huge stepping stone in a kid's life. For most, it's one of the best experiences of their life. For others, such as me, it's one of the worst. My name's Dylan Agori, and this is me. In sixth grade, I was about 180 pounds, far bigger than any other kid in the grade, and people let me know that. I was a victim of bullying, a constant and relentless bullying. I would come home from school every day and give off small hints that I was hurting, and thankfully, I had a mom who would catch them. She would pray every night that maybe, just maybe, I would find a friend, a genuine friend who would accept me for who I was. I'd do my homework and go to sleep, hoping that the next day would be better, but it never was. I'd wake up, get ready to go to school, but before I could leave, I had to put my mask on and act tough. I wore this mask so the bullies didn't see just how much they hurt me. When I got to school, I thought if I ignored the bullies, they would just forget about me and move on. But I was always wrong. It wasn't the same person every day either. Sometimes it was boys, well, sometimes it was girls. They said anything to get under my skin. They labeled me any word they wanted to. Whether it was true or not, they said anything. These are some of the words they labeled me as. It's easy to say, my sixth grade year was one of the worst years of my life. Bullying is a real problem and needs to be stopped. We all know there's three types of bullying, verbal, social, and physical. I don't know if I was bullied online because I didn't have a phone till the end of seventh grade, and I'm thankful for that now. But I do know one thing. My elementary school had about 15 of us go to my middle school, so I didn't have very many friends to start off with, but it got worse. My so-called friends would make fun of me and use me as a stepping stool towards popularity. <laughs> I soon learned that I didn't have any friends left. My seventh grade year was going on just like my sixth grade year, until I met this one girl named Maddie. I had all six classes with her, and she was the first person that accepted me for who I was. She was my first genuine friend. And from then on, it didn't matter what people labeled me as because I had someone who accepted me and I accepted myself for the way that I am. So these labels don't mean anything. Going on to seventh grade, the moment that I accepted myself for who I was, it, it just became better. Life just became so much easier. And if you would have asked me before that if I thought bullying was real, I would have told you no because I hate thinking about my sixth grade year. The pain of the memories. I'd rather just forget about it than embrace it. But now I'm sharing my story. <sighs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just trying to... Is, I haven't done this in front of a huge crowd before. It's hard saying your story. <laughs> the problem right now is we're trying to stop bullying the wrong way. We're attacking the problem the wrong way. Places like stopbullying.gov say that you should stop and think before you say or do anything that could hurt someone. Or, everyone's different, no better or worse. The problem with that is we're trying to stop kids from becoming a bully. The problem is that as long as there is power, there will always be a bully. There is a way to lessen bullying, though. The, when kids feel empowered, they love themselves, they accept themselves for who they are, and they have a strong community around them, it doesn't matter what others say. Because if they have someone behind them, that doesn't matter. Uh, Chrissy Metz, from the hit NBC, NBC show, This Is Us, once said, it's funny how someone who's average or even fit could relate to someone who's overweight. Because it doesn't matter about our size. It matters, the only thing that matters is the way we look at ourselves and the way that we feel about ourselves. In my story, I talked about wearing this mask. I wore this mask because I was embarrassed of who I was. And I know now, I didn't need that mask. I shouldn't have worn that mask. And right now, if you flash forward to my junior year, from 6th grade to 10th and 11th, I was in varsity football, weightlifting. I did six clubs. I emceed the pep rallies. I am the class president. That's not the same person from 6th grade. And I'm not trying to say this to boast to anybody in here. I'm trying to say this to show the kids that are getting bullied that there is light at the end of the tunnel, that it doesn't matter what anyone else says about you, the moment you accept yourself for who you are is the moment things are gonna start getting better. Find yourself a person just like Maddie who accepts you for the way that you are. My name's Dylan Agori, and this is me.